UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's the most fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Assassin! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon! Lee! All right, give me the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? So lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Tight kick lands right there. Lands the left punch now, followed by a right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Slips that left hand. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. 
You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'll tell you, man. You get in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. Horrible. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Over and over, he landed with a big body kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Just a slip there. Minutes remain in the round. Still nice body. Nice punch lands over the top. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big kick. Oh, well, you can't enter the pocket there unprotected. You got to figure out a way to get your guard up a little bit. Another kick lands to the head there. And let's see if he and his corner can make the proper adjustments defensively to avoid any further head kicks here in this fight. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Take many of those, you better check. And they separate. Nice leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Stuffed the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Pretty good right hand. Using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Nice strike. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. And that one certainly found the target. Looking to land the right just out of range. Orthodox now. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eights. Lance with the right hand. He is all about that left kick to the body. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Seconds now remain in the round. Oh, a vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. Right? Check these kicks, or you're gonna let them on the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Oh, is that a good knee to the body there by Lee? All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what you saw in round number one. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. 
He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into this fight. Good stick. Oh, high amplitude head kick! Still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Back to the feet. Oh, got him. He got him. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, he's up. But he is hurting for certain the finish could come at any time. Big kick land. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Big ball for man. Now he gets back to range. Back and forth we go. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, big head kick land. That strike blocked by Lee. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big leg kick land. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Lee. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Man, he keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Certainly buckled him earlier in the fight. He knows he's hurt there. Oftentimes, it takes just one to get his opponent down to the canvas. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Ready for the inside leg kick. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head of him. You cannot take too many of those head kicks. But this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Let's have the front kick there. Get there, man. Slam on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Look at him drive the chin into the whole body with that body kick. Beautiful strike. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round.
All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it when it comes next. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Blocked by Lee. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Punch over the top. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, nice right hand. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Very tricky to throw that body. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Punch. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. This fight's going to be over this time. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. He is going a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. He lands the head kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, that's a nice strike. Shooting for the takedown here. Just misses with the right hand. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Punches. Big leg kick lands. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, he heard a bad with his jab. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dunk. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big kick lands. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice move to punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Beautiful punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Straight punch there. Shoot a punch. Got to the target. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Oh, collar tie. Oh, you don't really stand after you take 
take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. How about those five minutes? Well, you never like to see a fight end by Dr. Stoppage, but as the round comes to an end, this cut is as bad as it has been all night long, and if they can't stop the bleeding and they deem it to be too bad, this fighter's not gonna be afforded the opportunity to continue. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. How about that shin? the Superman punch. How about it? And he continues to work the body here. The takedown is not there. Lee gets hit with a kick. Lands a glancing right hand up first. Just missed on the front kick there. right under the elbow. Look at a warrior that's trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. He lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad in his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. She went high on that one. That one landed clean. Check these low leg kicks. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Just missed with the straight left hand. Clocks the shot. Just over two minutes to go in the round. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Nice head kick. that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that. 
right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much, he's just keep making a split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Big leg kick. Lands a big elbow there. Over the top, this fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the position of the low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. comes the separation now. Lee gets caught with that punch. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Lee's uppercut is blocked. Hard shots landing on both sides here. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition. Whoa! He's, He's hurt bad. Oh! Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, big left! Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Working out of that southpaw stance. Nice punch by Lee. Thunderous leg his opponent limped a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish, or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Beautiful leg kick throw. To mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. 90 seconds and counting remain in the fight. Big kick. 
Oh, huge block! Telegraph that spinning back fist. Loaded up that right hand, too. Real quick leg kick. Under a minute now to go in this one. Caught the kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down now. Head kick. Oh, right hand gets up to block it. What a punch. They continue to exchange. 30 seconds to go. Lee gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. Nice counter right hook there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice leg kick land. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Big kick land. What a fight. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Assassin! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.